Today I'm set out to build the perfect setup for under $500, let's go. So this is pretty much our budget and we're not going over it. The rule is we cannot go over $500 with this setup. Let's get into the video. So this is the Xbox Series S and honestly, it looks insane. So thank you Microsoft for this. Uh, it's gonna be included in our price, so we're not gonna cheat. So let's get this thing unboxed. Now Xbox has graciously gifted me an Xbox for this video. Now I'm still going to include it in our budget, so I'm not cheating. <laughs> Dang, the packaging, dude, is crazy. I can't even get it out. Okay, this is kind of cool, bro. If I can even get it out. Now, not all of your Xboxes will come in this cool of a box. I think it will probably be more similar to just this white box underneath like this. But since this was a gift from Microsoft themselves, which is a huge thank you to them, um, we're gonna check this out. So let's go ahead and unbox the Xbox. So they graciously sent this out to me and honestly, I was really excited when I got. I've been an Xbox player for pretty much my entire life since a kid and I have not had a new gen console since Xbox, the original Xbox. I haven't had any sort of console since then and I think this will be the perfect console for this console setup. Honestly, I love how compact these Xboxes are now. Like literally look at this thing. It's tiny, if I can show it here too. It's literally tiny. It, look at this thing. It packs a punch, it's got ethernet, USB, HDMI, storage expansion, and um, power as well on this side. So here is the Xbox right here, put that off to the side. It also comes with an HDMI cable, um, comes with power obviously, and then the controller itself. It comes with the controller, but we're not gonna need this, but we're still gonna have it. And I think it comes with a diagram as well of the Xbox, but I think that's it. I think that's literally all that we have and they have the Xbox app and how to set it up. We don't need any of that. So let's move on to the next product. So next up is the monitor. Now I tried my best to get the monitor that we could use for this, but buying a monitor under $120 is actually hard. I was surprised um, at the price of this. I think it was 120. So this Cori monitor is a 165 Hertz, 24 inch, 1080p, one millisecond response time and it's also a VA panel. So let's check it out. I'm curious to see at this price point if it's even worth it, but we will double check it out and see if it's worth it. So inside the box, underneath the monitor, we've got the cable here to plug it in, the stand, the mounting equipment for the stand, display port cable, actually really nice, and then the stand for the back of the monitor. And here is the panel itself. Looks like it's got some red branding at the front, which not everybody likes, but it's not a huge deal. On the back, VESA mounting, also display port, two HDMIs and an audio plus power. And this looks really good, man. I'm actually really impressed. Let me get it put together with the stand. So next up is peripherals. Now I have a different assorted amount of peripherals here, keyboard, mouse, and headset. So this is the Zoyuleng, Zoyuleng, I hope I said this right, um, keyboard. Now, why do you think I went with this keyboard? Now it's actually mechanical, okay? And I bought this for $12, and I'm not even kidding. So let's go ahead and unbox this. It is an ISO layout, which shouldn't really matter if you're on a budget, to be honest. So it's the T60 mechanical backlit keyboard and I'll have it linked in the description if you actually like this. So it, it does come with a mouse pad, which obviously we're probably not gonna use, it's too small. But if you didn't have a mouse pad, this would honestly be a decent choice since you get $12 for a keyboard and a mouse pad. So let's go ahead and take the keyboard out of the box. It looks like it has a matching cable. USB type C, which is actually pretty interesting. USB type C on a $12 keyboard is actually pretty nuts. So let's go ahead and open it. So this is the keyboard right here. Now, it's probably not the best keyboard ever, but for $12, you can't really go wrong. I mean, let's just listen to the switches. It is blue switches, so you're obviously not gonna get the best switches out of this, but for $12, this could be a really good starter keyboard and it fit right into our budget. But yeah, this is it right here. Um, honestly, pretty good steal. If you're looking for a keyboard and you don't have a lot of money to spend, this being mechanical and being your first keyboard could actually be really, really insane. So let's move on. Now, next up, I kind of went to the past for this one. Back in my day when I was going for uh, a budget setup, kind of dating myself here, but the Logitech uh, G42 headset was one of the most popular at the time. Tyler One, so many different streamers use this headset and still use it to this day. They made a refurbished one. Now this one has an upgraded version of that headset and I found it for 30 something dollars. 
So let's get this unboxed. This one is also a refurbished one, so it came from a person. But if you're on a budget, you really don't care if it comes from a person or as long as it's pretty much new in the box, it shouldn't really matter. This has got me excited because I really love this headset. I used to use it all the time. It's an Amazon renewed purchase. Here it is right here. It's in a bag as well. So we'll cut the bag open. So this is the headset right here. Let me go ahead and move everything out of the way. So this is the headset. So this also can work with Xbox. Um, a lot of the headsets I've realized to try to find a headset that actually works for console was way harder than I thought. Um, it comes with the USB dongle with this is what we need to make it work with Xbox. Uh, if you try to do this, there's no way to actually make it work on the Xbox. There's no port for it. So that's why we had to use the USB dongle. So we got that for sure. Leather cu uh, cups on the side for more protection. Also the top of it is also improved from when I last had one. And then last up, the last thing on the list, I don't really have to unbox it, but I'm just gonna show you. Uh, this is the Razer Viper Mini. This mouse is probably the best $30 mouse you can buy uh, on the market right now for 30 bucks. And this was the final total of everything we bought from Amazon. Now let's build the setup. So let's put up the monitor and it's probably like good right there. Let's get it plugged in. Cool, then I need the power for this. All right, and then let's grab the Xbox. I almost think it standing up would look cleaner. Bam, like that. Let's go ahead and plug this in here. Bam, run this through behind here. And then let's get the mouse set up here. Up next, we got the Razer Viper Mini here that we showed off earlier. Let's go ahead and plug that in as well. Go straight back there and plug right into the thing here. Now, I know we're talking about the budget being 500, but if we're cable managing everything, this is like three, four bucks at Lowe's. It's just a bunch of Velcro straps and you can even use zip ties, whatever you have at home. But for me, I like these little Velcro things that come with this little hole here and they wrap around for cables like that. So they hold them. And at least it looks, it looks a little bit messy underneath there, but it's not a huge mess. Like it's a lot cleaner than trying to hide it yourself like that. And then now that we got that set up, let's put the headphone uh, headphones on and get these set up. Honestly, it's not that bad to be honest, but um, now this is completely optional, but for the sake of the video, to be underneath the budget, this is the mouse pad you could get if you're underneath the budget. Now, if you wanna go over the budget a little bit, you can buy one of my mouse pads at gutsyaden.com for an 18 by 16 or a 13 by 11. Now, I will use the 18 by 16 in this setup um, just to show you the size and how it would look. So this is the 18 by 16 size. The logo isn't this big. This is an old prototype I have. Um, it's a lot smaller now, but this would look literally perfect in somebody's setup who wants to play, you know, what any sort of shooter, anything like that. It looks perfect in any setup. So you guys can get it at gutsyaden.com. All right. Right, let's get on the Xbox and do the setup. I got spirals in my eyes like I'm hypnotized. I'ma do it, B.I.G. I fucking need it now. And you're not suited for this life, I gotta cut it ties. When that bitch gave me head, I swear she blew my mind. Okay, so they require you to, to install the Xbox app, which is kind of cool actually, because back in my day, you would just have to plug in the controller and, and turn it on, and then you just set it all up on the on the account. So I got the controller set up because it needed to use the controller, and it has an update for the controller. This is like high tech, bro. I've never heard of an Xbox controller having an update. So also, I'm not including a chair in this budget, but if you guys want a chair, this chair right here is from Bry Chairs. It, they graciously gave it out to me, and I'm gonna make a TikTok on it, but if you guys want to get it, I'll link it down in the description. So now that we have the Xbox set up, we need to set it up a little bit further. Next, we need to basically make the console output 120 hertz. So to do this, you go into general, go to TV display settings, and we know that our resolution is 1080, and go to refresh rate, and now it's at 120. And our monitor that we got in this case is 165, so you won't be able to take advantage of it fully, but it's honestly still gonna look good regardless. So another really cool feature and the reason why I chose this Xbox for this budget setup is because you can actually surf the web and do things just like a computer can. Let me show you. So right here, we're on the home screen of the Xbox right here, and all you have to do is go to the search bar at the top. All you have to do is type in Edge, like that, then go up to Microsoft Edge right there. It'll open Edge just like this, and you'll be able to use the browser. So like an example is I wanted to go to YouTube. I could literally go to Twitter, YouTube, use my mouse, keyboard, all of that, watch anything. You can also sign into your accounts on YouTube, etc. And there are apps for a specific 
uh, platforms like YouTube and Twitch, there's already apps on the Xbox store for that. I don't even think PS4 can do this. I could be wrong, but I don't think that PS4 can do this. We're gonna move on to testing games. Now, the first game I'm gonna test is Fortnite. So let's go do that. Okay, so we're gonna test out some Fortnite here. I'm not the best, let's be real. Um, I probably haven't played Fortnite and I don't know how long. Uh, I did it the most settings I could in Fortnite um, from the best of my ability. Um, I don't really know a whole lot about the settings on Xbox or anything like that, um, but we're gonna test this out and see if the FPS is actually good or if it's playable. Okay, let's see. Hopefully this like allows me to play. Oh! We're gonna insta drop this, bro. We're gonna insta drop this. So right now it looks like we're getting 120 FPS locked and it actually looks really solid. Oh, bro, I'm actually crazy. Stop, stop playing. Wait, how do I? Oh, oh, I can't build, I can't build. Where's my, I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, game two, game two, bro. The first one sucked. I had a lot of settings to change. These Xbox kids are not ready for me. These Xbox kids are not ready for me. A few moments later. Oh, oh I'm dead, bro. Oh my gosh, it just shows that I'm bad at Fortnite, let's be real. But looking at this so far, it's pretty good. Honestly, I'm really impressed. I thought that the console might be like a little worse, you know, more lag, all that stuff, but honestly, pretty impressive. But next up, I'm gonna try Minecraft, so let's go ahead and get into it. Let's see what happens. So, I mean, the game looks pretty good. Um, the only thing I'd say is the sense feels a little weird from like normal Minecraft for some reason, but it's not a huge deal. I think it actually runs really good though. Console Minecraft has made a really big expansion. Um, yeah, to, but to go, it just goes to show you that like the games can be played on a, like a decent game. Like you, you can play console. What is that? <laughs> you can play on console and it still does work. Let's go! We won, bro. Let's go, bro. Sheesh! Look at that shit. Sheesh! Let's go. I want to try one more game, and this is just purely because I like this game a lot. Um, since I have Game Pass, I can play pretty much any game that they have on the Game Pass store, and UFC 4 is one of those. And I know it's not a keyboard and mouse game, but it's one of my favorites, so we'll do like a quick, uh, we'll do a quick test of it just to see how good it is. Oh, look at that. Oh, sh damn. Oh, that was nasty. <laughs> damn, bro. Bro, look at that. <laughs> they always fall so funny, bro. Easy, bro, easy. So one last thing to note, basically you can game on $500. You can easily do it. Not everything is going to be perfect, but for the sake of budget and actually making a pretty nice gaming setup, I mean, it's it's honestly not bad. You could literally make an entire setup for under $500. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to watch this one next where I build more setups. Thank you so much for watching.